So we're going to be installing Cobb 3 port boost control solenoid on a, this is a 2015 WRX, the premium. So the old one sits right here. We, we kind of snapped the old one in half, so it's gone already. But there was a plug going into it. It had a thing that stuck in here and then two screws that held it in there. So we have that one removed and off. The new one is going to be installed like this. So there's two small bolts that hold the two pieces together like so. And then there you cut a small piece of, that's a little bit kinked, I might try to fix that. You cut a small piece of tubing to go from this one up top to this one over here. Now this will just sit right in here. And then they also give you, you'll have to kind of press it down, they also give you new bolts to go in here. So I have the engine pulled out of the car, it's nice and easy to see everything. You don't need to remove your turbo inlet to do this. It is easier because you can get more space, especially with the bypass valve sitting on top of it here. Um, this is hard to do unless you have like a bent screwdriver like this that allows me to get in there without removing that. If you do need to remove the turbo inlet, it's not too bad. There's just two bolts holding it into the actual turbo and then some hoses that you'd have to disconnect. Um, this whole thing will stay attached with the bypass valve if you just take it off from here. I don't remember exactly what the stock one looks like, but it's just all black plastic that pretty much comes apart in the same pieces. So you would have taken your stock one off of this hose. This is now going to get removed. The stock one has one port going into a hose that splits going to two different places. I forget the names of them. The three port is going to have two different holes that go to each individual, the, this one here and then the one back behind there. So we can go ahead and rip this out. So with that old hose out, now we take the this middle one. It's going to go to right here. And then this one on the side is going to wrap all the way around and go to where that other port was. I don't think you can see it from this side. It's going to be that one right there. Here's a look at this then. This one going to right here and this one going around the back. Turn the light on and then right up to there. The rest of the hardware is just zip ties and some hose clamps. You can go ahead and put those on as you so please and you are all set to go. Just don't forget to plug it back in.